Hey guys, so thanks for joining me here on the shores of beautiful Horse Tooth Reservoir. We stepped away from the walleye fishing here for just a minute or two to show you a really simple recipe that I really like. It's kind of an African fish stew, and like a lot of the recipes you see on here on Fishful Thinker, you can make this with just about any kind of white meat fish that you have. It's very, very simple. All the ingredients I need are with me here in this Otterbox uh, Trooper 20 cooler. It's also made in a size 12, a smaller version of it as well. It's a soft-sided cooler. It goes pretty much everywhere I go. And I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in here, probably a couple, three tablespoons, just enough to really get the bottom of the pan good and wet. I've got uh, about maybe half of an onion that I chopped up. And we're just going to give these onions, a, oh, a minute or two. I always add a tiny pinch of salt. Now I'm going to add in about, oh, probably two and a half cloves of garlic. So what I'm going to add now is what amounts to maybe a half a can of diced tomatoes. All right, we'll let that cook for just a minute. So now I'm going to go in here with some sliced bell peppers. We cook some of the liquid out of the diced tomatoes. And now we're going to turn it down all the way to low. Half a can of coconut milk. So we'll put a little bit of salt in here and a little bit of fresh pepper. And this is a bunch of white bass, guys. And I took this white bass and I cut it up into chunks. And then I hit it with a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of lime juice, and then some paprika and some cumin and some salt. And I've just been letting it sit here in the trooper while I was getting everything else ready to cook it. It's been there for probably 20 minutes, something like that. We're gonna take all of this fish, and like I said, it's about maybe three quarters of a pound, maybe not even quite that much. It's one big thick white bass. And we're gonna pour that along with a little bit of lemon and lime that was in there. Now that the fish is in there, we'll stir all of it together. I'm gonna to add a little bit of dried cilantro in here as well. We're gonna put a lid on it and let it sit until the fish will flake apart. And I predict that will take about 10 minutes. Now, anytime we're working with fish like this, guys, we wanna make sure we don't overcook the fish. So we just barely want it to flake. So I'm gonna pop this open. You can see it's cooking a little bit harder now than it was cooking before, so I'll go ahead and turn this heat down. And as I play with it, these are starting to come apart. These big chunks of fish are just starting to flake apart. And in my world, that means they are done. So we're gonna turn this off altogether. We'll put a lid on it and just let it coast for a couple minutes. Okay, guys, so this has been sitting now for about 10 minutes since we uh, finished cooking it, turned off, and just let it sit here and rest, let all the flavors come together, things like that. So let's go ahead and make a plate of it. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bowl, we'll hit it with a couple of green onions right on top that I sliced up. All right, guys, so there you have it. One beautiful bowl of an African-style fish chowder stew, whatever you want to call it, between the tomatoes and the coconut and everything in there. It's going to be really delicious. So I'm not going to taste this one right now because I know it's screaming hot, but I've made this recipe a whole bunch of times, and I know it's really good. I know you guys will like it. If you want the recipe, you can get that at fishfulthinker.com. Of course, we'll have it up on our YouTube channel. We'd really appreciate it if you joined the conversation across all social media platforms at Fishful Thinker. Most importantly, we hope you'll tune in, and we'll see you next week.